Scott Wilson with Forward Networks here to tell you about an exciting new capability we just added to our platform called Merge Snapshots. And I felt like this would be a very important solution, Merge Snapshots, to apply towards commercial solutions for classified. Because when we take a snapshot, we've collected all the device configuration and state and made, created a mathematical model of one network. And we're now able to merge those together. So you can, as an operator, see what would happen from a packet on the red network all the way through to another site, for example, across these different administrative boundaries. Now, we can, we can deploy forward networks instances and collect on this underlay transport network, the gray network, and the red network. And we don't care because it's just uh, we're just licensed purely based on the number of devices and not on the number of instances you may have deployed. So let's see how this looks now inside of a forward networks installation. So here I am on the underlay transport network, and I'm mostly interested in how the traffic would get from DC1 to DC2. And in order to do that, right, I would have to say, what is the source IP on the red side? And that's just flat out not available, right, in the underlay transport network. So I'm going to have to like rethink that challenge when I'm applying that towards a scenario where I have just the underlay transport network available to me. And that is, I have to go in and say, what is that ciphertext? at that side. So I have to say, what is the ciphertext uh, source IP? And how would in, in a destination? And now I'm able to visualize that, that I'm taking that across that inner tunnel, right, to the tunnel on the underlay transport network. And if I wanted to see what that tunnel actually was doing from a physical point of view, I could click here. And I could say, view that underlay. Right, so I can see that it'll actually go through this core device on over. We can model all kinds of advanced technologies, uh, MPLS over GRE, all kinds of exciting stuff that would happen down here. But to keep it simple, right, we have a tunnel that would go across here. And I had to know if, when I'm looking at the underlay transport network that it was the ciphertext to ciphertext. Now, if I go into the gray network, my gray network's not very exciting. I just have the one device kind of sandwiched in between the red and the underlay transport. So when I try to do that same search, right, if I try to say from... 172.16.11.1, it's really not much it does, right? Because there really is no connectivity, logical or physical, between these gray devices. But now as I pivot up to the red, red side network, I have from 100.10.1.2, which is my red side IP address, going to 100.20.1.2. I'm able to see at a high level that I've taken it across a tunnel. But as we were talking about, right, I want to be able to see not just the logical red side to red side communication, but that underlay. And so now when I go in here and I click view underlay, there's just no results, right? There's nothing collected on the red management side that gives me any insights into what's going on in the gray or in the underlay transport. And this is where the power of the platform comes in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a network. We're just going to call it, uh, you know, Scott dash merge all and I will go ahead and click next and this step right here is only particular to our SAS implementation most folks would use the on-prem VM uh, or a similar type of installation but just for now I have to click that uh, this is how you could easily say what, what is it you want it to collect on but for now we're just worried, mainly worried about devices and in, rather than import or edit manual devices I already have all that so I'm going to quit this and I'm going to finish this you know, wizard later, right? So now I have this built up. Now what I can do is I can go through to, the, to my underlay transport network and I can download the snapshot. So I click export and I go to the gray. I go in here and I can download the snapshot. And let me flip back here to the, to the red network and let me click in here and download that snapshot. Now I have all three of those snapshots downloaded. I'll go back to my merge all and I'll come up here and I'll import snapshot. And this is the power. This will all be done programmatically, of course. And what I want to do now is select one or more files. And that's the key. That's the new feature, right? This, this one or more files. Now I can click that. I'm in downloads. I can click here and go collect those three files, open. I can give it a note and that's an option. So I'll just call it merge. And I can start the import. So what's happening now is well, there's 13 devices. And in the background here, it's processing that snapshot. It's pulling it all together for me. So 
imagine a cross-domain solution where you've clicked it on the underlay transport, you clicked it on the gray, clicked it on the red, and all of that gets pulled up. Now I have a topological diagram. You can feel free to edit it, move around devices or whatnot, but now I have a true end-to-end -end path. So I can say from 100.10.1.2, just like we were talking about in the red network, you go to 100.20.1.2, and there's my red tunnel, and I can click view underlay. I can see that in fact it would go through the gray black underlay transport and around. And now I can start to build in all types of intent checks. Now that I have this entire picture together. I can go in and say, do I have under do I have the underlay tunnels built up? Do I have the red side tunnels built up? Do I have all of my interfaces or all my devices following their necessary stigs? Do I have any MTU mismatches? Do I have a tunnel adjust MSS built built in? I finally have a unified view of the entire end-to-end -end picture. Thanks for your time.